Hey y'all, I'm back. It's your girl China Lovely with Always Relevant TV. So I'm so happy that I have B King here today. Uh uh, you have Club Godzilla with the luxurious hair waving in the back now, nah, but it's B King Kong. Y'all know what's going on, man. What's good? Man, I'm just, you know, it's just another day. I'm excited to be here with you. And hey, salute, salute. Mm -hmm. Same here, man. Same here. Okay, you know so I got a lot of questions. Get my, get my hair did. I was like, I got a real busy week. I'm like, nah, man, we got to get this done with China, man. Straight up. Okay. Now, what, what hairstyle are you going for today? Man, I'm just getting some plaits, man. Just some normal, you know what I'm saying, braids. That's it. I ain't doing nothing crazy. Okay. okay. You ain't doing nothing crazy. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So, you know, I'm a new okay. fan. You know, I definitely found out about you through um, your viral hit. But you know, I'm mm -hmm. you know figuring out what you got going on, your new music. So I just want to start off with I know you've been in the game since 2010, and you know, then Leave was like a big hit last year. So tell me a little bit about the success yeah. um, from that song and like you know how it made you feel like the song going viral. I mean, it was dope, man. I've um like you said, man, a lot of people found about me last summer, but like out here in Texas, like I'm like a legend now, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, they like, man, how does it feel to, I'm like, man, it's been going on. I've been doing these pack shows, like in my region, I've been, you know what I'm saying? So people look at me and a lot of people think I'm a new artist, but you know, I don't just be looking at it like that to me. It's more of a feeling like about time, yeah. shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it's dope though. You know, I appreciate it. You know, you uh when TikTok gets your shit, you white viral now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole different level. I can't go to Walmart no more. I can't pump gas. I can't do shit. Like it's like that now. Yeah, you know yeah. So you know, and um, yeah, man, you know, that opens up the gateway to a lot of other big artists that wanted to work with me. And you know, I'm working with the whole industry now at this point, you know I'm saying to yeah. an extent though. That's crazy because it's like they always say it's that one song that like just changes your whole trajectory of your career. And so you just basically showing that like you put, you've been putting in the work, but that song and got to white TikTok, as you say. <laughs> hey, man, that, that song made my whole back catalog go up. You know, um, a lot of my fans, you know, I, I kind of had my explosion back in 2010. You know, so a lot of those fans grew up with me, college, they all. Some of them are judges and, you know what I'm saying, teachers and stuff now, but I hit a whole new generation, you know what I'm saying? So they they going back and doing research. A lot of my older songs on TikTok are starting to do numbers now. So it's dope, man, watching a new generation, like, pick up on it. It's dope. For sure, for sure. And I know, like, that mm -hmm. song, you know, got you your first gold plaque, and then you got another one with Thick mm -hmm. and TJ Cho. Yeah. So, you know, I've seen on your Instagram. <laughs> Hey, I see you. I see you. You you late to the party, but ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. Better late than never, you know. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I mean, yeah. sure. Like you know, like I said, like in California, like sometimes it just takes music like a long time mm -hmm. to get out here. And like you know, I ain't from Texas, so. But no, I, I already know. Cause see, but see, uh, in in different parts of the country, music is regional. You know what I'm saying? So out there, it's more faster paced. If you ain't really got that that beat like that they ain't gonna bump it like that, you know what I'm saying? Like Texas and Memphis and Atlanta the same way. Like we we not bumping Cali like that, you know what I'm saying? I strip clubs more, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I get it, you know, but I saw you on Shade, uh, Shade Room just writing about everybody but me. I said, man, well, she must don't like me or something. She writing about my, the, 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 the throw baby dude, my, 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 my partner VR Cash. I'm like, man, I got hit song. What's going on, man? They don't like me at Shade Room. Well, that that is not true. That's that's a whole another conversation. That is yeah, true. man. It's all over here. It's all up over here. Um, well, speaking of love, like you know, outside of you know, then leave and thick. Like a lot of people have been showing you love, and you have new music out with Juicy J and Two Chains. We, we shooting that video. We shooting that video Monday. Okay. Yeah, we shooting that video Monday, and I'm gonna be in LA. I mean, Monday you know, just drop the location. Hey, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I got you. I'm gonna be out there Monday and Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Okay, so, drop the location. I will. I'm gonna be out there actually Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So if y'all see me in there twerking, mind your business. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be recording. <laughs> 
But so your music videos are mm -hmm. always like very unique. Like, do you come up with the concept or is that something like you and the directors go through? Like, how do you kind of figure out the treatment for the video? I come up with the concept, man. Um, when I make the song, you know, my music is kind of energetic for the most part, you know, so it just give me the idea, like, like the next video I'm finna do gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the one I did with uh, Ludacris earlier this year, I wanted to remake Baby Got Back. So I just remember seeing that as a kid. Mm -hmm. I wanted to redo that, you know what I'm saying? Just did one um, for my new artist I just signed here, here in um, Houston and I dressed up as Carlton, like a dork sales broker, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be stuff like that that make people stop scrolling. That's my whole thing. I want you to stop scrolling if you're on Instagram when you see my video. Okay. So, and, you know, speaking of your song, Keep It Popping with Ludacris, like, was it like an easy process to, like, get him on the track with you and Clint? It was, it was actually easier than I thought it would be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when Ben Lee stopped blowing up last year, um, his uh, DJ, DJ Infamous, he was already supporting the song. He uh, DM'd me, he said, Luda want to meet you. I was like, Luda Chris? He's <laughs> like, yeah, man, Luda want to meet you. I was like, man, hell yeah, tell Fast and Furious I'll be in Atlanta next week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So got to Atlanta, you know, I'm BK, man. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with Drake, man. I didn't admit everybody, man. Well, when, when Luda walked in there, I went straight little starstruck little bitch mode. And I was like, man, okay, Luda. All right, man. I like what you did with this video. I like when you had the big head in this video. Like, that's another creative video guy. You know what I'm saying? And he, uh, I met him at his studio and uh, he played a freestyle he did to then leave for like the morning show in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, that's crazy. Like, you know, he like a triple OG legend, you know what I'm saying? And me and him just got really cool. Like, we just really hit it off that day. And it went from there. So it's just like talking every week. We just genuinely became cool and shit. And I was like, man, all right, well, I'm friends with Ludacris now. Let me just try to remake one of his songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the beat I made, that beat is two years old. It was already made from a long time ago. I just never used it. Yeah. I already had Queendom come on the hook. You know what I'm saying? I just never used it. So I was like, well, shit, I know this nigga now. It's perfect time. So I asked him what he thought about it. He said, man, this shit hard as fuck. He said, I'm finna do this verse this week. I was like, oh, shit. You know, so his DJ, he was like, man, Luna really fuck with you. He think you're a funny, goofy-ass nigga. He said, because he don't let nobody redo his shit. He say, think about a song where somebody redid a Luda song. Can't think like of that. any. He's like, he don't let nobody touch his shit like that. He real sensitive about that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's like, nah, he fuck with you though. You made you beat all that shit. So yeah, that was that was dope. And then the song came out the same fucking week. Fast Nine came out. I didn't plan that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Shout out to Luda. For sure. You know what I'm Straight up. It's good to see like how the stars are aligning and everything like was seamless. It, um, when you are like, you know, because you're a rapper and a producer, like how difficult is it to like balance the two or is it pretty easy? I love them equally, both equally. Like um, with rapping, you know what I'm saying? I like the rapping aspect because of the performance aspect. You know, you get on stage and Ain't nothing like performing. That shit better than sex to me. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't on stage with thousands of people and you ain't even gotta rap. That shit lit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the beat making part, I love that too. Like I when you make the beat, you know, you control the emotions. If a beat come on the right way, it'll make you drive your car faster. You know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. never seen a bitch, I ain't never seen a bitch twerk to an acapella. You know what I'm saying? It'd be the beat. I ain't and people get beat up because they beat hard. And you yeah. mix with some hard words, it's just the beat, you know what I'm saying? So I like them equally, though, on the beats is how I've been able to um, make my plays and uh, really get in position on certain things, because anybody can be like, yeah, man, uh, let me pay for a verse, or uh, let me, uh, I need a verse from, but I can be like, hey, man, I send you a beat. Right. Give me a verse for this beat, or I can do. I write too, you know what I'm saying? And then leave song. I wrote that hook, you know what I'm saying? For Queen to say, you know, I know how to write songs, especially from a female standpoint as well. So, you know, with them beats, it's a lot of cheat codes I can do with that. 
Yeah, I, I feel that. Like, I feel like a lot of your songs are for the ladies, like, to twerk, throw that ass and stuff like that. Do you feel mm-hmm. like you have, like, a specific strategy as far as, like, your audience? Like, you know what the women want? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, what's crazy, my real fans that listen to my albums, they know I have, I rap about all types of things. Mm-hmm. I got all type of different substance on songs and all that but it's just something about when i say bitch pop that pussy them songs blow up the quickest for me i don't know i guess my voice i don't know but when i make the club songs they just blow up the quickest so i peeped that like 10 11 years ago i was like i'm just gonna start doing this the majority of this and when i start doing that that's when the fans came you know so hey i developed the strategy you know what i'm saying i can make that beat i know what a female want to hear yeah i know how to make it disrespectful just enough <laughs> you know what i'm saying enough. not too disrespectful and a female gonna be like who, who, what woman would jam this you just bitch bitch ho ho i don't pretty much do it like that but i do it like that to an extent because females don't want to hear pop that pussy dumpling you sweet sunshine They're like no call me bitch <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that's when it, it hit it's, it's crazy, but it is a strategy and a formula to it. You said so. Oh, and if you ain't noticed, yeah, I'm tender headed. You see me? <laughs> right. Nah. I mean, I got my braids. They still tight in the back, and I got these done last week, so I, I, I know how it is for sure. For sure. Yeah. We shooting that video Monday, so I'm, I'm getting right today. Okay. Okay. Now you've done a lot of things in your career, but I'm sure like there's some other things that you want to accomplish. Um, is there any other artists that you want to work with, like as far as like a verse or just making a beat with them? Man, honestly, it's already happening. Like I was just thinking about that on the road last week. Like I've worked with all the legendary peers that I've had. The only other person that's left is uh, Drake, but that's the homie. That's that's gonna happen when it happens. We just gotta find the right song at the right time. You know what I'm saying? But that's probably. Okay. Him. Drake, okay. You understand? Understand. Everybody else, man. Juicy J, that's my favorite. Like, I still rap like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a song together. I can hit this nigga up now. Like, I get on the phone with this nigga. I be trying to tell myself not to talk too damn much. I be mm-hmm. talking too damn much and shit, but that's pretty much it, man. Like, shit, I probably say, um, uh, Rick Ross, probably. I got a song. I forgot about that. I saw Rick Ross. I'm tripping, man. Oh, man. I'm no. shit. Drake, bro. You, you got so much music. You didn't forget. Yeah, hey, man. It's been 11 years. Man, it's going to be 12 years next year, man. Like, you know, I've been, been out here. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I feel you. I feel you. Mm-hmm. Now, I was a little surprised that you didn't mention Cardi B because I know when Ben Lee was- Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah. He's going very hard yeah, for I'm you. Her in outfit. And I was waiting yeah. to see if she was going to come on a remix. Like, did you ever, like, talk to Cardi B or her team? Like, I want to know. I, uh, it was a lot going on around that time. You know what I'm saying? Around that time, she had got pregnant again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a, a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up talking to her um, at Offset's birthday party in Atlanta. It was uh, December last year. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was real brief, you know what I'm saying? Cause she had like hella niggas around, you know, she had all the big old boobs, fine, all that, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to get through all of them <laughs> and talk to her for a little while. And uh, she was just like, she loved a song, you know what I'm saying? And you know, from there, man, I'm not gonna ever be that artist that press people and be asked them a million times, you know? My thing is she was just showing, she was showing, uh, showing so much love online. So yeah. I did like an online campaign, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, y'all hit up Cardi, man. I did that shit for like two or three months. Yeah. It was to the point where Columbia, my lady was like, man, we think she getting ready to do it. You know what I'm saying? We get worried that she getting ready to do it, but she she had so much going on too with the, with the campaign. I think she was trying to help Joe Biden win. She was in DC. Her her aunt officer was trying to. It's just a lot going on, man. And um, you know, um, one of her homegirls that's cool with her. She ended up telling me she was like, "Man, Cardi told me she actually kind of 
intimidated. She said she don't know what to say on that. She's like, the song is so much anticipation for her to be on there. It's like, she don't even know what to, and she don't want to fuck it up. I said, man, fuck that, man, what the fuck? I write Cardi verse, fuck, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's all love, that's somebody else, man. We're gonna do a song when, when it's the right time, but she cool people. Uh, I really, I really fuck with Offset. He cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna happen when it happens. Right. So you know, for the people that's gonna watch this video, definitely you dropped a lot of gems that you know timing is key. Yeah, um, that'd be right time. Yeah, and then just to keep at your craft, you know, you said you've been in the game almost twelve years. So. Yeah, that's man, that's you gotta uh, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, man. As soon as you uh, fall back. You know what I'm saying? Start trying to give up. Some 16-year-old gonna come in, do the same shit you're doing, and turn up like a motherfucker. You know what I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So, stay at it. Okay. Straight up, straight up. Now, I gotta ask you, because we talked about your visual appearance and just, like, how you appeal to the women, uh, your presence on social media outside of TikTok and Instagram, but it's them damn T-shirts. That's, like, your signature look. I wanna know... Yeah. How did those t-shirts even start and how how can I and the people get a t-shirt? Because you be having all the damn catchy shit, you know? Man, me, me and my manager, we 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 fight with that because she like, my nigga, you missing a whole extra million dollars this year. Nigga, you could have just sold all your shirts. Everybody want them. Everybody in the industry, all your fans. And I'm like, yeah, I could do that. But once I do that, then it ain't special when I wear them no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm been fighting with that. I don't know what to do with them shirts, but the way they started, man, um, goddamn. This now, this is like, oh eight oh nine you know this is when i was in the clubs trying to get you know what i'm saying my songs popping mm -hmm. and i realized when you out in the club every night talking to djs you a damn near ride of clothes in a month almost because you out every night and you can't wear the same shit yeah so i was like well i'm just gonna start wearing shirts with the name of my song that i'm pushing Mm -hmm. And then that turned into me switching them into funny phrases. And then I've been rocking these shirts for 11 years. People are just not catching on to these funny shirts. But if you go back through my Instagram, my Facebook, my old Twitter, these shirts been outlandish. Yeah. For a long time. You know what I'm saying? But now everybody looking at them now. So everybody. Ooh. I'm saying okay, we back, we back. <laughs> that was my phone telling me my shit got 20% left. But now we um uh, we yeah, um yeah, them shirts been around though. They've been around. Okay. I'm probably gonna start selling them soon. Yeah, well, I need the first one be just just off rip. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you. you know what I'm saying okay. what's what size you wear? Uh if they if they fit it, what what is the unisex shirt? I can do it. I was gonna say, yeah, you kind of um yeah, got a, a big situation <laughs> going on right there. So you may need a <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You may need my side. I, I do extra. You know cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I got you. Okay. Now I know you um said you have the music video that you are shooting uh this upcoming week in LA. But what else can your fans and your new fans look out for? Um well yeah, the S the shake that ass bitch, that video we shooting that Monday with two chains and juice and J. Um, um <laughs> Another two chains song. Two chains new single is uh, gonna be featuring me and Money Bag Yo. We just okay. shot the video for that last week. Um, honestly, I'm just focusing on my label. I, I want to help more younger people just get on, man. Cause like uh, in Houston, man, it, it's hard for people to break out of Houston. They may get on in Houston, but it's hard for them to break outside of Houston. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I'm just more trying to help my artist, Big Jade, and my artist, uh, Trouble Fam Psycho, just okay. signed him about a month ago, and just help get them in position. But for the most part, man, um, I can't speak on too many things because it's, it's not set in stone yet. They don't want it to be announced like that. But, like, the stuff that's already, like, been on the, online, I can speak on that. Like, the Money Bag Yo, 2 chains, like, that's, that's coming out, I think, Halloween. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm keeping yeah. it in the back of my mind for some things. Oh, it's, it's hard, too. We just shot the video. It's on some old 90s type shit. It's, it's hard. Okay, okay. So um, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that you mentioned Big Jade. Um, and, I'm a, you know, this is going to be about my last question because I know you want to. Okay. 
but I no, didn't really know I that. Got a card up in here. We okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't familiar uh, with you know her being your artist, but I do always see like you you know push her really hard. So for people that mm -hmm. may not be hip to Big J music, like what can you tell them so that they can want to go and stream her music right now? Uh, Big Jade, man, for the most part, when I met her, you know what I'm saying? We was just cool, you know? But then I found out she could rap. And I was like, oh shit, well this changed everything, man. You finna just start hanging with me. I finna like start giving you beats and everything. Okay. You gave her beats, she would crash and send them right back the next day crash. And I was like, damn, all right, well, I'm gonna give you this one more beat in this one song. I gave it one beat I gave it blew up in her in her town in Beaumont. So I was like, okay, you are a star. Just everybody just don't know yet. I said, like, all right, well, let me try to get this same song popping in Houston. And I drove around the whole and this is before uh the leave. I drove, drove around the whole city and the song started making a little noise in Houston. And then she went to jail. You know what I'm saying? She uh <laughs> she was she was a scammer, you know what I'm saying? What's crazy is but before City Girls, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like like that shit, it wasn't cool yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's cool not to scam niggas and do all that, but she was doing that shit back then when it wasn't cool, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, went to jail, had to sit down for a while. And while she's sitting down, I'm starting to blow the fuck up, you know. Then leave came out all type of shit. She got out of jail. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. I'm like, yeah, I'm on on now, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So when she get out, I came up with an idea. I was like, man, you rap really, really good. A lot of females rap really good. How can we make them stand out? I was like, well, you do hair. Mm -hmm. I was like, you need to make a video where you rapping real fast while doing somebody hair. They ain't never been done before. And when she did it, it went viral. Goddamn, uh, 50 Cent posted it. Goddamn, everybody just stopped posting it. Like, she went viral. We did three more of them videos, and then I ended up getting her a deal with Alamo. You know what I'm saying? So now she got a deal now. You know what I'm saying? And she like on autopilot now. All I do is give her beats, and she do what she got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, her, her music is, is more for the hustling female, single parents, all that. Okay. You know, she uh, used to stay in Beaumont, Texas, and, you know, got up out of that. Now she got a big old house in the woodlands now, you know what I'm saying? So, Come on. yeah. So, like I say, man, I'm I'm always trying to help people. Queendom Come, me and Queendom Come, we've been having songs still since 2011. Hmm. And now she rich, rich and off that song still, doing shows every weekend off yeah. a hook. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I just signed another dude, Trouble Fam Psycho, trying to, you know what I'm saying, get him out of his situation right now, too. Just, you know what I'm saying? Have everybody getting it and turn it up. I feel it. Yeah. Everybody can eat. Yeah, man. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? That's when you start going harder. When you really ain't stressing about nothing else. You just make music and shit, you know what I'm saying? So. I love it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I definitely want to just thank you for your time and just all of the gems that you dropped. Um, let people know where they can just like see all your videos, stream all your music and all that. Hey man, I'm everywhere, man. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Title, all that, uh, Beat and Club, Godzilla. Uh, my Instagram is Club Godzilla. If you're on Twitter, it's Beat King Kong. If you're on Snapchat, it's Freaky Club God. <laughs> if you somebody mama and you think I'm handsome, my Facebook is Justin Riley. You know, that's where everybody mama be. You know what I'm saying? You can go on there. Uh, <laughs> Clubhouse, I'm B King. You know what I'm saying? I be on there talking a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm all over the internet. I used to be on Tumblr because they had the best porn, but oh they took gosh. it, they they took it down. They took it down. So now all the best porn is on Twitter. Anyway, but yes. I on that one. <laughs> all yeah. right, me King. I appreciate you so much for tapping in with me. And we're going to talk offline about some stuff. Okay, 100. I got you. All right, bye. All right.